Prince Charlie of the First Miss Hall Richard Brown at the St. Robert, uh, coming to you from our WCS uh, 32% rank uh, case report titled uh, Totally Sucked at the Bigger Picture um, and a vision lost with ink associated vasculitis. Uh, so we present a 76 year old Filipino female uh, with a history of diabetes and hypertension as she had presented with three day onset of right sided uh, monoocular vision loss jaw claudication and scalp tenderness. Uh, she um, had further workup done that did show elevated ESR CRP and lip blood cell count. She was also noted to have a creatinine of 0.7 and a GFR of 9. Uh, ophthalmology, uh, nephrology, and hematology were consulted with ophthalmology noting that she only had hand motion of the right eye um, on exam and she was also diagnosed with central retinal arterial occlusion and she was diagnosed with GCA and started on high dose steroids. When our rheumatology team uh, saw the patient, we uh, asked questions about her um, history of chronic kidney disease uh, after the patient had obtained external records that showed a normal renal function. Uh, we were in agreement with the nephrology team to further work up the patient for vasculitis. Um, once the temporal biopsy uh, that was um, arranged by the primary team was uh, organized and done, it was found to be negative for GCA. Um, and the patient um, that was, uh, the patient was then um, uh, scheduled to have a renal biopsy done, which did show active um, uh, vasculitis, with labs also supporting the diagnosis of the positive PO and the PR3. Um, after that, the patient was uh, continued on PO steroids and rituxan, and she also had a CT of the chest here done, um, showing uh, ILD. So the three takeaways from this case is that uh, although uncommon, Ink associated vasculitis can be associated with monoocular vision loss um, in the setting of uh, central retinal arterial occlusion or even optic neuritis. It, can, uh, it is also important to uh, look at the detailed history of the patient and also keep a broad differential when it comes to vascularities. Uh, lastly, it's really important to advocate for the patient. Um, in terms of biopsies. Um, so getting a temporal biopsy and a renal biopsy were very important in this case. And the renal biopsy ultimately diagnosed the patient and guided her therapy.